Researchers say they have created a new supermaterial in the laboratory. They say it is stronger, lighter, and costs less than steel. But the new material is not a product of high technology or a metallic substance. It is wood. Researchers Yang Bing Hu and Tung Li are with the University of Maryland in the United States. By using a few chemicals, heat, and pressure, they have made wood three times denser and ten times stronger. Hu says that means it can compete with some of the world's strongest materials. Heat and pressure, and you've got oh, super wood made three times denser and ten times stronger, says Liang Bing Hu. We're interested in replacing steel and carbon fibers with strong wood structures, he said. The process does not require any special raw, unprocessed material. Hu said that means the cost of the product will be relatively low. He added, we can start with very cheap wood and we can also start with very fancy, expensive wood. But in the end, ultimately, we get very similar performance. The researchers are calling their product Superwood. It is made by partially removing a natural polymer called lignin. Who explained that lignin is like a binder to hold all the components together in natural wood. In our process, we found out to be able to densify the wood completely, we have to remove some of these binders. Strong chemicals are put on the wood. The chemicals remove about half of its lignin. Then, after being left in extreme heat and pressurized for a day, the treated wood is ready. The researchers say the wood is strong enough to build automobiles, airplanes, wind turbines, and more. A report on their findings was published in the journal Nature. The researchers say super strength wood would have less of an effect on the environment than the steel or other metals it could replace. However, their process is not pollution free. It uses some of the same chemicals involved in making paper. Researcher Tung Lee says he and Hu are finding many new ways to use wood, including creating batteries and see-through wood and paper. Wood has been existing on Earth more than a million years, and human beings have been using wood for furniture constructions more than 10,000 years. And then the more we worked on this material, we realized we haven't never fully exhausted the potential of this amazing material. Other scientists are finding new uses for wood as well. Researchers in Sweden have reported making wood-based super-strong fibers for clothing and other materials. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for our channel.